So we have another fully custom private server that is basically its own game at this point using World of Warcraft assets and I actually tried to get into the beta a few times, but every time I tried, the beta happened to be over, so I was like, dang, I missed it. Anyway, they are opening up two more. Actually, today, as of this video dropping, it's tomorrow as of recording it, but it's opening up today, yeah, today, for <laughs> you to be able to try it. So, what is Anarchy WoW? Well, right here is the trailer. Uh, there is a website, however, the website does not have any information other than the uh, countdown, um, which will be obviously different from the time you see this video, of when it will be playable, and of course the trailer, which is right here, and then there's some uh, sneak peek screenshots we can look at from the Discord, but most of the information of this server is pretty much in the trailer already so we're gonna go through it uh, a lot of the like flashing of different scenes happens really quickly so i'm going to uh pause it a lot so we can talk about what we're seeing like this right here because as you notice there are new playable races so let's uh start this you're not gonna hear the sound at all see what i mean about it flashing really quick and that's not the only thing so, Anarchy WoW. Might just um, have to go back and go through this. Not sure what I think about that red right there. Just like the re deep red, like everything is red. So, from what we can see right here, it looks like there's going to be a type of like council. Like for whatever this new lore is. Well, I say new lore. I don't know if it's its own lore. Like it's its own out of the thing, you know, out of the out there thing. Or if it's continuation i'm not quite sure yet because like i said there's not really a lot of information on what the server is as of right now i'm just having to go off of what we knew already such as new races now it doesn't look like you can pick horde and alliance it looks like you know the left leans more alliance while the right leans more horde but that doesn't seem to always be the case as if you look we have Vry cool and for most of these by the way there are male and female options so there's Vry cool male female you have skeleton i don't know if there's gonna be a female option for that you have uh draenei or broken rather so it looks a lot different than the broken we're used to and there's also a female model so real quick i am going to do the playback speed we're gonna do slow right here so we can actually see there's the female, there's the, uh, Frost Troll with the, <laughs> it's kind of funny how, um, uh, the Vrykul themselves, okay, those are like Wrath of Lich King models, I'm not sure about those, but, uh, the Frost Troll, like, that's a Wrath of Lich King model, and then for the female troll, it's just, like, the Alpha Troll model, which is, like, the stuff of nightmares, but it's kind of funny at the same time. So right there, we have a Dark Elf, which is using the Night Elf skin, but it's got, like, the red eyes, and they have darker skin, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, female, Arakoa, and that right there, I believe, is the female, because they have breasts, obviously. There should be a male as well. There's Naga, male and female. Those are the Legion models, so they're newer. Uh, we have Saurok, which is interesting because they managed to put the Saurok skin on a female worgen. So, it, I mean, that makes sense because the male is basically just a worgen skeleton. Uh, once we get there. There it is, just the normal Saurok from Miss Pandaria. There's the female one. We got Fell Orcs. We got skeletons. Wait, so what's... Oh, oh, the other one is like one of the giant... They're called megaliths. Okay. But we have skeletons. We have Yongle, which uh, had the Miss Pandaria Yongle. And then it's just got a female torn for the female race. But as you notice, by the way, there are no normal races. These are all completely uh, unique races. All of them are. Uh, we have Forest Troll. Hang on, go back a second. We got the skeleton, Yongle... There's the forest troll. There's the female forest troll, which is just the vanilla uh, troll. Uh, the light elf. So, like, uh, different from the dark elf. These guys are going to be pretty much blood elves, just yellow. <laughs> we have the uh, warlords or draenor modeled ogre, which is kind of weird because a lot of these are a mix of, like, vanilla. You have alpha, wrath of lich king. Uh, that one obviously is a, uh, Warlords, the, uh, Naga was Legion, so there's a lot of mixing of textures, and 
Um, I don't mind, like, the see how he's wearing, like, older vanilla armor on top of the newer... Like, that. that's fine, because uh, there's, you can't really do anything about that, but it's kind of interesting how they're mixing, like, all the different, um, just mo Oh, God, wait, 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 hang on, there's the, the ogre. Look at the female ogre! <laughs> what is that? Oh, my God! <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I'm just, I'm just staring at this. Oh god! And then we have um, they call them Jinyu. They're not the Jinyu we know from uh, Miss of Pandaria, but either way, they look really cool. They're obviously using the Worgen model, but they look like anglerfish. And that's something like completely unique. Like I don't think we've ever seen that before. So it is really cool. And there's the female, which oop, the female pretty much looks like a normal Jinyu, but I think they're using the troll model, if I had to guess. And then we have uh, Tuskar, which everyone knows what Tuskar is. So, uh, I believe we will have the standard class, the standard classes that are in World of Warcraft, but they are going to have new custom classes. Ah, yes, okay, so Shaman, Rogue, Hunter, Paladin, Warrior, Warlock, Mage, uh, priest and Druid, but as you notice, there's three new classes. Now, from what I saw, these are not going to be available at the start. These are going to become available later, but I believe they've already been tested, which is why they're coming out relatively soon rather than later. So we have the Fellcaster, we have the Reaper, and we have the Fighter. From the, the Fighter, from what I, um saw from what little we know looks like it's gonna be kind of like a warrior-esque uh class but using unarmed so they're gonna be using fist weapons which is cool i, I like that that's that's cool um i'm not quite sure what fellcaster would be but looking at it it seems like it's just gonna be like a demon hunter-esque type of class and reaper i'm not too sure either if i had to guess i would guess similar to necromancer but I, again, that's just me speculating. I don't know. All I know is the fighter, I think, is, in fact, uh, unarmed. So there's Fellcaster with all the different uh, things. Reaper. Yeah, see, looking at it, it looks like it's going to be like a type of like necromancer kind of class. And then there's the fighter. And see what it looks like. It looks like a, like a brawler type of class, right? Like unarmed. Now, Forge Your Path. This is actually interesting and something i really really like and now this is going to tie into another system that they're adding that again i really really stop fucking right clicking that i really really like so watch this again i have it in slow mode because it just goes through so fast everything here i just from them kind of like quick zooming around i don't think that these are like areas in normal world of warcraft i think these are all completely custom i mean that kind of looks like gilmaeus but again just the way that it looks i don't think anything here is uh like, like, like this is a completely fully custom made uh server and every like even the maps themselves are custom so the forge your own path You'll see in a second here is while you're questing you're going to have the ability to choose like different outcomes of the quest now as a uh, custom maps go there are some spots that look a little bit inconsistent i mean that's typical of any kind of like custom made uh thing there's like not as much foliage so it looks a little bit bear in some spots like that's to be expected when it comes to fully custom things but either way it still looks impressive it's like so, some dollar type of area it probably is like a dollar on just for this over there's the council again of like all the different races okay advance through dungeons now that just looks like scolomance that's redone yeah that's like a redone scolomance but I think, like, this Forgotten Crypts, that looks like, um... Okay, so that's just basically the, the Karazhan Crypts. But again, it's, like, remade. 
Chasm of Burning Fury. That just looks like uh, Razor Friend Crawl. No, not Razor Friend Crawl. Uh, Rage Fire Chasm. My bad. Rage Fire Chasm. But uh, there. That is uh, Deep Home. Just again, redone with all their custom creatures. But now, what I was saying was. It should be coming up here in a second. You'll see it. That. There we go. That you'll be able to choose what outcome the quest will have and that will lead to a secondary system that will let you choose if you want to be a good guy or a bad guy you could choose the light or you could choose the dark path like the light path or the dark path the hero or the villain so this is where it's going to cover right here you could choose mercy or you could choose vengeance and every time you make a choice it will choose where you're going to go on the scale and that can have an effect on your character by uh, the more you're towards the light you can unlock light abilities that's, that's going to show right here or if you're more on the dark side you will unlock more dark abilities and then I believe there should be a true neutral but I'm not fully uh, sure but yeah you can choose to embrace either side depending on the choices you make so that'll be very interesting for uh, multiple playthroughs trying to do it once with one character once with another character at least to find your destiny this part is the part that I said that it just goes by really quick in the trailer so this right now it already looks quick but I'm already at like half speed and this is just basically showing off a little bit of the um, questing and gameplay. Not much to it. That made me dizzy. But yeah, th this looks absolutely, like, incredible. Now, from what I know of Anarchy Well, because uh, now we're pretty much done with the trailer, I'm just letting you finish watching it. From what we know of Anarchy Wow, it used to be just a... Um, fun server which this is basically a fun server as well but because they're putting so much rpg into it i um oh by the way that, that car there's there's a i'll i'll let you know what that is in a second Where, where'd it go um yeah there you see this here i'll explain that in a second because that was explained but uh just give me one second so from what we know of anarchy wow is that it used to be a fun server uh roughly 10 years ago uh, I don't know if they closed down or they just decided to rework itself or I don't know exactly the story behind it but from there they obviously remade the server putting in all these RPG things and now they are going to re-release they've been in an on and off uh, closed and open beta for the past I would say year or two years probably about two years now um, all throughout last year, they were having various beta tests and such, which uh, seemed to go off successfully. Now, this is going to be the proper launch. So now, if we go here, as you see that there is a store. They've already confirmed in the comments of this video that the store itself is not going to have any pay to win. Uh, as you saw there, they were uh, loot boxes. He has confirmed that the loot boxes are purely for a random chance at cosmetic items and nothing, uh, again, that would increase your power or give you benefit over other players. And that's going to be the same as everything here. And the way to pay for things is to purchase donation points. And they even said that you do not actually have to pay for these points in order to buy things from the store and you will be able to obtain these points in game just by playing the game the reason why they have the option to pay for it with money is because they need to be able to pay for server costs and that's something that i've said many times is i do not mind a private server having monetization donations they need to be able to pay for at least the server upkeep because hosting a server is expensive it can range anywhere from like 300 to 500 dollars a month so again i don't mind them having donation points as long as there is no pay to win and from what i've uh, been told or at least seen written here it is not going to be pay to win it is purely cosmetic now um at one point we 
there, right there. <laughs> it's so quick, you you can barely see it, but it's uh, like a car. Ah, oh, dang, I missed it again. Anyway, you 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 saw you. There it is. This um, I, uh, somebody saw this and commented, and this was also um talked about by the head developer. This is not a mount. It is purely a uh, Easter egg that you can unlock by putting in a specific code or doing something within the game, and it's just an Easter egg that refers back to the original server from 10 years ago. So this is not going to have any impact on the game, it is literally just there for the lulls. So um, anyway, the website is again right here, I will link this in the description below because uh, today... Uh, you will be able to make your account and download files. You will probably need to go to their Discord, which the Discord is right there. Can you see in the top of the screen? It's right there that you could be able to um, download any files that you need to. You're just going to need a 3.3.5a uh, client and then just drag and drop their folder. It's simple. That's pretty much what most of these um, servers do. Now, if I drag and drop over here, Discord... This is basically just uh, showing more of the server. Now, we've already seen the races. There's another different like color variation for the uh, Jinyu. Uh, there's the Naga. There's some uh, areas within the game. Again, I, like this one right here. Let's open the browser so we see it better. Like I mentioned before, a lot of... Um, custom-made areas, and this, again, is for, like, any zone I've ever seen on any private server that is fan-made. You can see that it's just, like, plain grass. There's no foliage. There's no, like, patches of dirt to, to kind of, like, break up the green. And that would be a criticism I have of anyone from Anarchy WoW watches this video, is, um, if they are able to add a bit of a variety in the like texture of the ground just to kind of break it up a little bit add a bit of like bushes some foliage something to just kind of break it up so it doesn't look as flat so um that would be like my criticism for that. like this one doesn't look too bad because it's got the fog that kind of like helps it a little bit but you but right there see the dirt is just dirt it's just brown and it's very flat again with the grass right there it's just very flat because um, if you look at, like, like, Blizzard-made, like, areas, they do put patches here and there of different textures and colors to kind of help break it up a little bit. But the cave here doesn't look that bad because, again, it's a cave, and there are, like, you know, there's scaffolding everywhere. There's a little bit of rocks here and there. And this is a pre-made uh, cave from Warlord's Draenor. That's probably why it looks so good because, see right there, they have stones, they have that right they have the, the, the fire, the wood on the floor, uh, so it definitely helps break it up a little bit. But yeah, I, I, like again, this uh, is a really cool looking server, and I plan on playing this. I am going to be playing this. Now, um, I don't know if I'll be streaming it today or tomorrow, because um, it all depends on how well the launch goes, obviously, if there's any ish technical issues, uh, how fast I can make my account and get all the files downloaded and ready, stuff like that, but I definitely want to at least try it and make a first impressions video, and then, um, yeah, other than that, uh, I would suggest subscribing to this channel because I do cover more than just this server obviously when it comes to private servers I like to introduce people to new private servers as well as covering ones that I prefer to play like Epoch WoW, Turtle WoW, uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Mistblade lately, uh, Revelation WoW, so I do cover those regularly, I like to showcase new servers, I like to try them out and make impression videos and rating videos and yeah just the next um, beta coming up is going to be Azeroth at War, so I'm definitely going to be playing that upcoming. Uh, probably Monday I will be playing it, so definitely subscribe. Uh, hit notifications if you want to see me stream that, because we're going to be checking it out. And until then, I will see you guys later.